Ruge gonna reposition back towards A. One there still being on the site. He's gonna be faultless. He tries to beat the hero. Has that SG in or handy, the Hawk Rider to maneuver. Shadow might be looking the wrong way. He's gonna get all the way. Might clear the backside first. Is he gonna get into the garage? That would be powerful, yet he's just gonna plant it. Back turn to it. Maybe still a chance for Faultless to start walking in. The jump up on the box will be made. He's gonna find the kill. It's gonna be 1v1. Myline jumping across with a wall bang. How is that possible? How does Myline read it? Joint by Fallen Knight. As Star will see them cross now. Calling out for some rotations. Yet Shadow has still full control over middle. Myline will open up. Malak is down to low health. So this should be an easy kill from Fallen Knight. Yet he jump shots to find him. Myline with the trade. One for one's in middle as well. As Shadow is still standing. Making it a little better. As all that's left is mine, and he's clutched this before. Yet he's gonna be careful from behind that shadow to find him. Moon of Mafia up ahead after rain, stomping them in the beginning, bringing it from a 9 3 half all the way to an 11 10 advantage. So if they run to container now, they might only face one rifle and a few deagles. This could be great for Rain as they're finding an entry. Star will fall. Malik still trying to recover, but with the flash shields, you have just the window to push. You have just the window to go for it. And that's when Xero comes into play. Finds them both. Shadow looking the wrong way. And that's a shutdown. Rain bronze. Don't turn it back to the play, but he didn't realize this just yet. He's going to run all the way towards the pillars. As he now repositions back out, looks for the entry. Most likely. Going to see a player cross. No, he won't. Still having a good angle. Go in. Wraps away faultless. A 1v1 has now been created. Malak might have just won the round right here. And then as the stick will come in. It's just a fake. Malak still waiting for Xerap to swing. Allowed to find it. Once again. Stepping up to the plate. Good at interviews. Good at the game as well. As he makes a second. Next air will also be dealt with. Yet still a fallen knight. You gotta deal with yourself. And his faultless is striking from ahead. Fallen knight can still flank Mosha. Needs to stay alive. And the bomb is already getting defused. Has to be in every time. Can Cancelo stick it. No, he's gonna fall. Barely had to defuse. Fallen knight. Still down to the 1v2. Can chip him away. Tries to play so much time. It's gonna run out. Fallen knight. Oh, he's, still do it. he's gonna do it. Fallen knight is a knight standing. He's not gonna fall. Oh, boy. In the back pocket. This could still be huge. Yeah, I don't think Masia and Naxera, no armor to work with, definitely very, very weak. But a minute here on the clock, three versus three, though. Rain still could take this. The bomb is down there, which means they're going to have to push up to try to get the bomb to plant it. They're slowly working their way up Tree Hall here. Flash is coming in. They're trying to avoid it. Ooh, quick trade. Naxera with the 3k. And he's not going to be seen, so a final night ends this. There could still be a chance. Yeah, my line still. Went unknown, crossing back, and now the advantage fully solidified, and probably not going to be a chance to redeem it anymore. Malik's still current middle, but running into Intel. Shadow is there, lining up two, and now my line starts running in, but will also fall Shadow again with a trip. The bomb will go down. Faultless wrapping around, but in ultimately Rain still having a pretty good position for the retake. There comes Faultless taking down Fulgrant. Mosia coming in to fall away to the side of Xello. Faultless and Myline joining back, joining forces. They've been together for so long, yet Myline is trying to accelerate it. One more time, and gets the headshot. Myline stepping up exactly what he needs to. Ukrainian superstar doing it again for the team of Rain. And they will win. Yeah, I'm not too sure what they've opted to go for this round. I think they're hoping for a bomb plant and, and looking for some cash. But as you said, 20 over uh, 28 matches played for Rain, 20 of them being won. So Rain have also more experience of. Of losing it in particular, right? For for the Cypher Mood Mafia, seven out of eight wins. They really only have experience winning, right? And when they have actually a team fighting against them in a great succession, how are you gonna approach it? How are you gonna adapt? It usually is a, a problem for Mood of Mafia when everything goes right, when things go wrong. How are you gonna be adapting on it? How are you gonna stabilize? We'll have to see how they're gonna do so. Because now they have to hold Shadow Swinging, Star helping, and a shutdown, mate. Look at that. That's how you do it. Just mow them down. It's looking like A is going to be the side of choice. Bomb will probably be picked up. Next air finding one. Looks over to his right. He will come up with a 2K. Needs to be careful. 17 rounds in the magazine. Flash going out. Able to tag one. Is looking around. No way. On the A site. All blue are trying to regroup. Trying to recover. The site that's been taken. Rain still want to swing. Faultless dying. Oh, they're peeking. But they're going to get taken down. As Malik is still here. to really low. The there to try and help. Marlon dropping. And just like that, it's nine. A successful retake and so well played as well for Moon of Mafia. Rain, they don't have to peak. And Fault is going to be in a tough spot. Masia there with the reinforcement. They're trying to bring them out of the corridors. Here's Malik up top on the roof. Oh, he's going to jump on down. 
It's Mullet Mafia. Once again, in the kill feed, my line, the last player alive. It will find one. Oh, that was so close. He got the angle. My line. He wakes it happen. Man, like dropping down and finding a jump shot. Let's see what they can do as the swing coming through. Fallen Knight allowed to pick up one. So trade frag being taken, Malik. Allowed to fall, make Fallen Knight fall as the Holt will still come in. But it's going to be pretty tough. Fault line, fault was arriving from the headshot angle. Can find three. He's lining them up. This round, how they play that bonus. Team Rain really needs an upset here. It would be phenomenal if he can come in and uh, and win this round of number 14. Because, again, you're going to be down four, potentially five. And if you're fighting on this breach side, it is going to be hard. Ozello oh, just cleaning up. Right there on ramp. With the fourth with the frag grenade, trying to find the final player. He, he's hunting. He wants the ace. He wants to clip. He wants to be there. Immortalize. Getting it. He's trying to. He's able to do it. Jump across the McLaren, maybe. Shots being fired as the bomb is entering side. They're going to plant it. Shadow, getting a shot by Masia. Vulgren having to be very careful, hugging as close as he can. He hears it going down, can't deny the plant. He's not able to do so. Bomb has been planted, Ray needs the cash, but of course they even need to win this even more. Masia's gonna choke it. Vulgren's got plenty of time to defuse, and it's Mulam Obvia. 13 to six is safe. As Miner will have himself 2 HP and a wrap around from Joe. This is probably already come in. Maybe Shadow can find him crossing into the corner. Mylan getting dropped. And now Faultless against the world. He has to fight as 1v2. Otherwise, but if he gets put back in the lead, the Faultless. There's one person that could do it. He could be the IGL. Have to take the leader roll to another extent that he gets it. Fallen. Nile. Fuck Faultless, rather. 40 seconds here. Mylan is the first to open it up. Putting down Vulgrant. Shadow getting cheeky. Gotta be careful here. There's a whole lot of blue around you. Zello is your bomb carrier. Malik with an incredible 2K. The game since is there. He finds the third, and he's just opened it up for more Mafia. And now it's Malik, low HP, only four to his name. Zello finding Fallen Knight, making it easy for Masia. It's a duel 1v1, and Masia somehow pops his top. He can defuse the bomb. Rain is now up by seven. But expect, obviously, the drop down to be happening. I usually see him in the first window, but not in the second. That's definitely not something they're going to be anticipating on, but they might run down. My light taking down Star. Oh, Vilgren runs into the side, looks for two. Next era pops a tire, and it's all down to Malik. In a 1v3 now, it should be the win here for Rain, unless Malik can still make this happen. He's all down to the 1v2 now. He's got the HP to work with and the ammo. A little over a minute to work with. Umasi shows his spot. Now he's got to look for Faultless. Faultless is coming outside of heaven. Might catch him off, but Malik grabs the headshot on him. It's doable here, folks. Oh, no. Be great star with a, such a good flank again. But now Fallen Shorts, obviously, to be alive. Two plays in Cafe. It's going to be a kill for Nexera. Would you anticipate a second? You do. As Nexera flicks right on top, gets the headshot on Malik. Bombs pick back up and rotating through breach spawn. Looks like B is going to be the side they're heading on. We've got one player inside the cafe. That's my line. Star is going to come in here and try to get him out of here. And oh, oh, I think he heard him. My line comes over and domes him. They're working on. Oh, my line coming up with the two with the R. Looking to see if he can find the third. He's going to have to move down bottom cafe. Fallen Knight come in and help him out. It's my line grabbing another. It's a full house there for the side of Team Rain. The side of choice. Two players thinking inside a tree elbow right here. Interesting decision. A frag grenade would really soften them up. They're not going to do it though. Flashbang coming in. Zello somehow. He's going to double up even though he's half blind. Yellow. And now in this two versus one. Shadow, what are you going to do? He finds Nax Zero looking to the left. Flashbang going out. Do you stick it? No, you got to stay alive. Frag going out. Damages him. Puts him down low. But Masia wins. Team Reigns at match point. Pure good watching for long. Although ultimately the push is just going to come through from the mid side they might still go b that's fallen night fallen bomb is gonna go towards the b side but why moshia is going a i don't can't believe it why are they doing this faultless is gonna have to face two yeah Malik is still here with the m4 no time left trying to pull the information away moshia wants to try and flank it's two conservatives have to go for it time is running out faultless will have to jump look for Malik. he's bringing it in Malik will find it we're going all the way oh well how close can this be Early shots, they're giving away that he does have that. They're pushing up B-Long here. Here we go, Jens. Fault was first to open up. Masi going to drop down Shadow on the ground. They're looking around. They need to plant that bomb quickly. And they're moving in. Two players are down here. And a player in Mo Mafia is already leaving. But already giving up on his team. The bomb has been planted. Malik trying to work here. If they somehow win, Naxera drops him down. I think it's going to be Team Rain. There's not much more you can do. Vulgar trying. He's able to pick up one. There's Zello. And he's out of there. It's off to Vulgar. Team Rain has this, Jesse. Team Rain, once again, are going to be your champions of Worlds 2023.